Okay, folks, welcome back. Today, uh, what we're going to be doing is making some oxalic acid extended re uh, release sponges. These are the ones that uh, Randy Oliver uses. Um, you can go to his website at Scientific Beekeeping. And uh, he's got a really good description on what he does with these. <clears throat> but uh, we're going to get these made up here, getting ready to treat some hives. So just going to kind of show you a little bit about... Uh, what you're going to need for the process. Um, first you're going to pick up some uh, vegetable glycerin. I got this off of Amazon as well as the oxalic acid. You can get that uh, oxalic acid at Lowe's or whatever. It's just wood bleach but uh, Amazon has bigger quantities. You can even get more than two pounds but uh, that's what I've got. Some left over from last year. Uh, you're going to need a tray to put your sponges in. These are cellulose sponges. <clears throat> you can also use uh, shop towels, different different styles of sponges. These are uh, like you would use in your kitchen. Got these off Amazon again. Got a little mixing cup there that I've uh, put the vegetable glycerin in. Um, I've already weighed out the oxalic acid. And uh, it's equal parts one to one with the acid and the vegetable glycerin. So you'll need a little food scale for that to make sure you get a, a good one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, <clears throat> the nitro gloves to keep your hands uh, away from the acid. A spoon to kind of stir it up. And then I've got the tongs uh, for once I pour the, the mixture over it. I'll be able to move the sponges around in there just to keep my hands away. And then I've got a... Uh, little hot plate out here. I'm doing this all outside so that we don't mess up the kitchen. Cheap stock pot and then a uh, candy thermometer. So what uh, what you need to do is get that glycerin heated up uh, to about between 140 and 160 degrees. You don't want to go over 160. Then the uh, acid starts to vaporize and other chemical reactions happen so you don't want to do that. But anyways, we're going to cook up a little batch here. This is uh, going to treat about uh, 38 sponges. Based on my math, Randy has uh, 18 grams of the oxalic acid per sponge. So if I did my math right, I've got 38 sponges in my container here. So it should be enough to get all those soaked up nice. And uh, we'll get them soaking today and take a look at them tomorrow and probably put them in the hives here later this week so get set up here and start cooking okay we got the glycerin poured in there it's all brand new equipment here <clears throat> picked up some of this here at the uh, local china mart Okay, we're up to 140 right now. <clears throat> if you've never seen the oxalic acid before, it's like a white, white powder, uh, kind of like granulated sugar. It's kind of what it looks like. So we pour that in, in that glycerin here. Stir it up. Right now it's kind of cloudy, and once it fully dissolves it will all clear up.
show here. Kind of see the solution's a little bit cloudy. Continuing to stir just to get it all mixed up. Okay, folks, after stirring there, everything's nice and uh, dissolved into the glycerin. So what we're going to do now is take all that solution and pour it all over our sponges. which the thermometer going out wasn't supposed to happen. 
So anyways, we got a little bit of a solution in the bottom. Um, make sure we get all these soaked up nice and good. We got three layers of sponges here, so I'll probably have to come out here in a little bit. Make sure all these get soaked up good. You can see pushing on them, there is the solution in there. So I'll end up taking these tongs and kind of moving them around, making sure all of them get soaked up really nice. Anyways, that's uh, step one of the process. We'll take a look at them tomorrow after they sit, and then we'll get them installed in the hives. All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, this is the conclusion of our uh, oxalic acid sponge video here. So these are uh, the sponges. They've been soaked in the oxalic acid here. Uh, I put these in a Ziploc bag a few days ago just because I didn't have time yet to introduce them to the hives. Um, what I'm going to be doing is placing that sponge here on the bottom deep so that the bees have an opportunity to uh, encounter that. And, uh, you know, they can um, get the oxalic on them and stuff. Try to get rid of the mites. You know, let's bag one hand in here. Half a hand. Uh, there we go. So, this, uh, this colony here, I did a uh, mite wash on it last weekend. Um, it only had one mite. Uh, that doesn't mean that there's not more. Uh, a couple inspections ago I did find a bee with a mite crawling on it. Typically when you see that, there's going to be more than one mite, obviously, per wash. But that's what I encountered. Uh, this was a swarm I captured in April. So they did have an opportunity for a brood break, but obviously whatever mites were on them at that time, you know, came with them. So anyways, sponge. We're going to put that right here in the center. And, uh, you know, that, that'll be in there for, oh, 30, 40 days there. And uh, we are now about the middle of July. Well, not quite the middle. The 9th of July here today. And we'll do a mite wash again here to, uh, towards the end of the month just to see how uh, they're doing. And see how everything is working out with these sponges. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a couple of these uh, bags of them. I think I made uh, 38 sponges if I'm... Uh, my memory serves me and we'll be putting those in the in the rest of my hives here trying to get them going on the treatments our honey flow is uh, basically about over for the for the summer we might have another week left but uh, clover is pretty much gone sweet clover it's pretty much dried up so right now there's not a whole lot coming in we're kind of going to be here in a dearth probably within the next uh, week 10 days so queens will slow down a little bit here over the last part of july and we'll check them out again later thanks for watching if you have questions put them uh, in the comments below and click that subscribe button thanks